Mark, it was as simple as putting all the right people into the same room so business leaders can network and possibly open the door to future projects. We're supporting each other. It's helping economic development in the small communities as well as their larger cities like Ann Arbor, Detroit, Grand Rapids. Companies like Moran Ironworks out of Onaway is an active member of Michigan's Business to Business Network, which helps put small companies into the purchasing pipeline of the state's business giants. And since they've joined the network, has led them to millions of dollars in local contracts. Keeping the dollars in Michigan has helped us as a company hire more people to work in our facility. That local mentality is something that is starting to grow on many of the state's larger industries. And now they're looking to the north for new opportunities. The northern part of the state is, is great resources that are available, but a lot of people just don't know what's up here. One of the largest supporting businesses that has made a commitment to this statewide initiative is Consumers Energy. They made a $1 billion pledge to purchase Michigan-made goods and services over a five-year span. And so far, they've already met 70% of their commitment to smaller businesses around the state. If we give them a contract, or even if they give another contract, give it back to another Michigan-based company. Let's have a Michigan company sign a contract with another Michigan company, not something out of state. Most of the companies at this summit are smaller, but walked away with new connections and the possibility to grow. This is really about an investment in uh, Michigan's economy. It's going to create jobs, and uh, uh, you know I think there's some momentum from this. Uh, that's what I feel. I feel some momentum from uh, this opportunity to come together. Reporting in the Petoskey Bureau, Nathan Edwards, 7 and 4 News.